So I'm finishing the basement, as you can tell. Uh, we are in the office. Um, I'm not putting a drywall ceiling in. I'm actually going to paint the ceiling black. Or we're going to at least try, hopefully, with this guy. Um, I don't, it, it paints really good, um, but I don't know about black on the ceiling. I feel like it's going to be thin. So I feel like it's probably going to take a long time. But um, I'm going to get things set up and uh, we're just going to get right to it. Okay, let's see if we can get this poured in here without making too much. Be a really quick process but I'm gonna have to figure out the whole uh, <laughs> not to use so much um, we don't want to stand under this it's dripping pretty good look it's just dripping we use a lot of paint in that one little section that is not needed so <laughs> I get dripped on all right so pretty much uh, I'm going to have to avoid using that much um, paint uh, somehow. I guess just be quicker with it. I thought it was I didn't think it was going to cover that quick. I mean, that was fast. I got to do the backsides of that. I did that one. Started doing that and already ran out. So it's going to be a fortune if I use, if I make it that thick. Alright, I'll show you what we got here. So, we gotta do all the way down there. There's tons to do, but I actually think it'll go pretty quick. So, let's get to it. couple major flaws in painting here so it, more uh, particular with this room see all those little little cubby holes um, yeah well I've already taken a shower because my entire face was covered it would blow back out of them holes right on my face the entire time but wires piping it takes forever trying to get those um, but other than that, this room, sorry, I keep showing a light, I know. Um, this room is done. On the gun, there's this little dial. Uh-oh, and I just unscrewed it all the way. Pretty much this thing limits your, your trigger. So, right there, you can't go all the way. Well, I had it all the way down, so you're going far. Well, the issue with that is... I made a lot more work for myself because it sprayed my walls. So now I got to sand my walls because it's, I mean, that's a rough texture. So that's just great. Um, yeah, you, you, you learn as you go, right? So in other words, all this in here, I haven't muddy yet. That, those aren't finished. That's just, I started just playing around. Um, I'm gonna literally plastic the entire wall down. And if you're asking, why did you even hang drywall in the first place? Well, because I didn't want to. Here's the gym side. Turn that on. 
I did not want to put plastic up over back here. Um, that's a storage wall. That's what the office and stuff is on. And I didn't want to put plastic up in, in, in certain spots. Well, the joke's on me because now I'm literally putting plastic up over everything. <laughs> if you do this for a living, that... I mean, I, I should have called you. I might get to doing the rest of the basement. You'll be uh, watching and fast forward.
right, it is officially done. Take a look. Everything is nice and coated. Um, you saw the difficulties that we had. So here's some insulation. I gotta go back through with hand, uh, spray paint and get that. The gun puts out way too much air pressure and it blows it all over the place. It just doesn't coat the insulation. Well, other than that, all the wood. Let's get in the light so you can kind of see the... All the wood, see it? It's all painted black. Um, it actually, I mean, it looks good. <laughs> if you're looking at doing this as a project for yourself, it's actually, I mean, it turns out great. Uh, you might have some issues along the way like I did, but if you watch this fully and, and, and you can learn from what I did, Give this a try. It turns out great. Uh, you might have a little bit of time and effort you got put into it, but I mean, the basement is looking good. Paint is a lot cheaper than drywall. So, if you guys would like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.